Hello guys, welcome to another World of Warcraft video. This is patch 6.2 and we're going to take a look at the new reputations. Now before you go and farm and grind away, I would like you to advise to have a level 3 trading post. Now, because I'm an idiot, I didn't have it myself and I didn't really do a lot of rep grinding myself in Draenor, which means that I don't have the level 3 one yet. Now you can get the level 3 one by having at least one faction at Exalted in Draenor. Then you'll get the recipe and you'll be able to build it. Anyways, off to the first reputation. Okay, so we have arrived at the Saber Stalkers. Now the Saber Stalkers are the first of the three new rep reputations from patch 6.2. And they feature some quite interesting things. Um, most noticeable are the two mounts, the Wild Gortusk and the Bristling Hellbore. Now you'll be able to gain reputation all the time by killing the Saber Arm in this area. Now these Saber Arm are quite tough. Um, I think you have to have at least a minimum item level of 660 to uh, deal with them. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, this guy gave me 27 reputation. Um, I receive a bit more because I'm a human. And you will receive even more if you have the uh, trading posts at level 3. That's 20% extra. Now you'll also notice that you'll be able to get some black flank claws. You'll get these from the prowlers. These claws are then used as a currency instead of gold to buy, well, for example, the mounts. As you can see, they're fairly expensive. Um, with the most expensive one being 5,000 of those claws. Now, besides killing those weak pesky creatures, you'll also to be you'll also be able to gain a bit more rep by killing the rares located in the area. There are four in total, which will give you 500 reputation each. First off, we have Soul Slicer, who is over here. Next off, we have Gloom Talon, who is over here. Krell the Serene, who is over there. And the Black Fang, who is inside this cave. There is also a weekly quest called Rumble in the Jungle, which will give you 3,500 reputation, which requires you to kill three summonable um, champions of the Sabers guys saber on now to summon these guys you have to have some of these black fang claws so that means you'll have to kill some of the lesser creatures first before you are able to purchase one of these three totems now you'll need to buy every single totem at least once should you fail to kill the champion you'll lose the totem so you'll have to start uh, collecting claws all over again. This is the location where you can summon the three champions for the Rumble in the Jungle quest. It's located right here, as you can see on the map. Oh. There. I'll just walk you back. So from that road onto here. That's it. That's where the arena is. Now there's one final way to get reputation with the Saber Stalkers, and that's via this gnome who's standing on top of this tree stump. She's called Parvink, and now and then, so not daily, but it can spawn, she offers a quest called a Tooth and Claw, which requires you to gain 100 teeth from creatures in Tanan Jungle. And that will give you 1500 reputation with the Saber Stalkers. Once you hand it in those quests, you will get uh, 25 Black Fun class, uh, Claws as well. So, should the quest spawn, it could be advised to do it. Now, up next we have the Order of the Awakened, which is a faction of Arakoa. Now, this may be one of the most difficult reputations to have been added to this patch. Now, let's have a look at what they can. They have, for example, one mount, which costs 150,000 Apexis Crystals, which is, without a doubt, the most important thing. You'll also be able to buy a companion, uh, a toy, a contract, a tabard, and a master, uh, a hunter seeking crystal, and a master hunter seeking crystal. And these crystals will teleport you to the nearest rare that is active. So they, these are quite interesting. Now, there's only one real way to gain reputation with the Order of the Awakened. When you arrive here, you'll get an introductory quest called Unseen Influence. And for that quest, you'll have to gather one 
corrupted apexis crystal now this apexis crystal can be looted from any treasure or can be looted from anywhere after you found that crystal you can hand the quest back in you'll gain 1500 reputation with the order of the awakened now once you've handed that in you'll get a daily quest this daily quest requires that you'll gather 10 of those corrupted apexis crystals each day once you hand that in you'll gain another 1500 reputation to get to Exalted with this faction takes about 4 weeks, if you do it every single day. And last but definitely not least, we have the Hand of the Prophet faction. Now this faction is quite interesting as you'll once again be able to buy uh, a mount, a fairly lovely looking mount by the way. They also sell a couple of toys and well one of the more important thing, the trade agreement Arakoa Outcast which increases the maximum cash size of your garrison. Uh, cash to 1000. There are multiple ways to gain reputation with the Hand of the Prophet. The first one being rather simple. There are bonus objectives all over Dren, all over Tanan Jungle. You can see a map right now which displays the bonus objectives in Tanan Jungle. Good, now once you've seen that, you'll notice that there is also a command table here in the Lion's Watch. A similar version for the Horde one, by the way. Now you'll receive, it's exactly the same as the table in your garrison, you'll receive the choice between two different bonus objectives, you can choose one, you'll go there, you'll come back and you'll hand in the quest for 500 reputation. Now once you've handed that first quest in, you'll see two new dailies pop up. The first one requires you to do two more bonus obje objectives. You can choose freely which one, doesn't matter. Once you come back, you'll get 275 reputation. The second daily can be randomly selected from one of these six you see on the screen right now. Now, some of these dailies may be easily combined with the other daily, so try to do them together. Now, there can be a fourth daily, but this one won't spawn every single day. This gnome over here called Parving, every now and then she'll have a daily for you. This daily can be one of these two you'll see on the screen right now. The first one is that you'll have to kill 20 demons and this can be done around the throne of Kil'jaeden and the second one is to kill 25 Iron Horde Orcs and these can be found all over Tanan jungle. Also, several quests related to the garrison campaign will grant you reputation with the Hand of the Prophet. Finally, there is one way to gain 1000 reputation with all the factions from Draenor. Now, there are is an item called the Medallion of Courage. You can get this item from this garrison uh, mission quest or you can loot the item, which it, it doesn't always drop by the way, from these four rares located in Tanan Jungle. Now these rares are more rare than others and thus they won't spawn that often. The first one is Terrorfist, who is present in the Rangari Refugee. The second one is Vengeance, who is present in the Temple of Shannar. The third one is Doom Roller, who's right in front of the Hellfire Citadel. The fourth one is Death Talon. He spawns in the ruins of Kranach. Anyways, that was it for the new 6.2 reputation. I hope this guide has made some things clear to you and perhaps also been useful. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you the next time and bye bye.